A very warm welcome to your journey with Summit InfoLabs. While you're here, try to make the most of your time by learning as much as you can. I am Praveen Kumar and I am one of the co-founders of Summit. After you have been selected in the interview, you might have received a letter of joining. The first step you need to do is to join a temporary WhatsApp group called as the Parking Space. This is your entry point to Zumit InfoLabs. In the Parking Space, you will request the admin for your Zumit InfoLabs email ID to be created. You can request them to send an invite to our Slack workspace where you can meet all the members of Zumit. You will also get the links to get access to your learning path. So, the very first thing you do on your joining date is to get access to our HRMS system. By registering to the HRMS, you will be creating your profile in Zumit Employee Database and also get into our resource pool for future positions. You can use your Zumit email ID or even your personal email ID to register to Zumit HRMS. All your contact information will be mapped to the same employee ID. By doing the registration, you will also get access to your learning path and the next steps. After registering into the HRMS, you can log in with the EMP login link on the same page. You should use the email ID and password that you had given during the registration step. You can use forgot password if you cannot remember your password. If it goes to the registration page, this means you are using a different email ID than the one you had used in the registration. If the login is successful, you will see the landing page with three buttons in the center of the page. The first button will take you to your employee workflow, which is a set of activities you need to perform. Some of the activities are like joining the relevant WhatsApp groups, attending war room sessions, attending daily stand-up meetings, posh meetings, and the like. In the landing page, there is another button, My Learning Path. The learning path is different for different departments. If you are from the AWS department, your learning path will be specific to AWS and cloud. If you are from the pre-sales department, your learning path will be focused on pre-sales, sales, inside sales activities. Same thing applies for Python, machine learning, HR, and other departments. Once you click on the button, you will see the screen showing the list of learning path tasks and some buttons and links. Every task will have either a video associated with it or a blog article or a link to some source code. Sometimes a task may have both a video and a link for learning. On completing the task by watching the video or going through the link or doing both, you can click on the button that says Mark Complete. Clicking this button will move your task to the completed tasks list table above. This also updates the database in the backend. So your project managers or the scrum masters can see if the tasks are completed and on what date and time this was completed. Completing the learning path tasks will notify the scrum masters so that they can connect with you for allocating you to their projects. Welcome to the data science department. Here, you will learn and also work on machine learning, deep learning, reinforcement learning, and all the related activities around data science. Here at Summit, most of our projects use Python for data science programming. Therefore, it is important to learn Python as the first step. If you know Python programming already, you can refresh your knowledge for a couple of days. 
If you are totally new to Python, I highly recommend you to take a week or two to go through the W3Schools Python programming tutorial. A good knowledge of statistics is essential for solving machine learning problems. Please revise some statistics concepts which you might have studied in your school like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, normal distribution, etc. Additionally, learn some concepts like Pareto principle, A-B testing, hypothesis testing, which will be very handy to understand some of the algorithms in machine learning. I have created a video covering the introduction to statistics. In this video, I talk about basics of statistics along with A-B testing, Pareto principle, confidence intervals, and more. You can go through the video on YouTube by searching for introduction to statistics in my channel if that helps. The next step is to start getting hands-on with machine learning programs. To begin with, you can write your very first simple machine learning program on linear regression. You can use a Jupyter Notebook on your favorite browser and start coding your first program. The program is a step-by-step -step approach that takes house prices data and predicts the house prices based on the past historical data. This is a very simple program with 10 to 12 lines of code that you can readily try and execute and understand. I do have a dedicated video that explains each and every line of code and explains the complete problem with the solution. And you can try that on your own computer and browser and check out the results. When you are doing a data science internship at Zamit, one of the best things that will help you gain and improve your knowledge are the war room sessions. Try not to miss any of the war room sessions. In the war room session, all the data scientists get together discuss fundamental concepts of machine learning, deep learning, and reinforcement learning. It is a knowledge sharing session conducted by the experts in Summit. The War Room session happens every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 p.m. IST. The sessions are generally moderated by the department heads or someone from the leadership team. You can interact and ask questions to the leadership team members who are quite experienced with the topics and can help explain the concepts. Please ask your Scrum Master or the moderators to add you to the calendar invite so that you get notifications for these meetings. Also, take a note of the time zones depending on which country you are in. Some of the key people you may interact with in data science department are Nachiket Kulkarni, Hemraj Dhakal, Anusha Shivyogi, Varun Walvekar, Srinidhi, Sridhar Purandare, myself, and many of us who have a good knowledge in data science and related technologies. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your Scrum Master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with the HR or senior management team members like Katie or myself or Praharsh Dubey. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Be sure to convey your area of interest in data science. Whether you would like to work on core machine learning or computer vision or reinforcement learning, NLP, or if you are open to any area of data science. In case you are interested in specific domains, Make a request for the same that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zamit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics, and predictions. Our Zamit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. 
Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting-edge technologies in HRMS, Marketplace, Audio Analytics, and more. When you work on projects in Zumit, you will need access to the source code of the project. At Zumit, we use GitLab for our storing and managing our code base. GitLab is an open source code repository and collaborative software development platform for larger DevOps projects. Go to www.gitlab.com and q.gitlab.com and create an account using your Zumit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the project source code. GitLab has various features like version control and repository management based on Git, issue management, bug tracking and boards, code review functionality and review apps study and review apps tool, continuous integration and deployment tool, integration with IDEs like Visual Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ and coding, integration with Jira, Jenkins, Slack, Docker, Kubernetes, LDAP and more. Welcome to the Human Resources Department. Here, you will learn and work on talent management, also called as resourcing, talent acquisition, also called as recruitment, core HR, and related activities. The Human Resources Department acts as the face of the company when it comes to hiring people and interacting with the employees. It is a very dynamic role, and sometimes you need to think on your feet or discuss with your seniors to handle different situations, handling queries from employees and candidates. There is a well-planned learning path for the HR department members when you start out at Zumit. The learning path covers various aspects of HR's below, key HR functions. Recruitment process, which is all about hiring the right talent. Onboarding and exit processes, new joiners of the company will need a good guidance to start off with necessary information. Learning and development, planning the training needs of employees and educating them on core skills. Employee recognition. Good employees need to be recognized and motivated so that they feel part of the company. HRMS also known as Human Resources Management System. Employee performance. And of course, many advanced concepts and areas of HR. When you log into the Zumit HRMS system, you will see a button to view your learning path. On clicking the button, you will see a screen, which shows a list of tasks for you to do. Most of the tasks for HR department learning path is to understand the key concepts of various HR functions. Each function has a separate video, and some of them have an additional link for a blog or an article. The advanced concepts and areas in the HR functions are diversity and inclusion. It is about equality, fair treatment, and more. Prevention of sexual harassment. It is a significant aspect of HR and it is about ensuring there is no gender-based mistreatment. Prevention of workplace harassment is about abuse of power and handling subordinates being mistreated. HR policies and practices is another crucial and fundamental aspect around running an organization. HR analytics is visual and intuitive and helps in better decision-making. Induction or orientation is a meeting to welcome all the new joiners to the company. During induction, the HR team members explain the newcomers about the company policies, procedures, and guide them through the joining process. At Summit, we conduct two inductions, and this happens every Monday. One of the induction meetings in the morning Indian time, and this is focused on joiners from the Asia-Pacific region. For example, new joiners from India, Singapore, Australia, etc., will be invited to this meeting for their orientation. The second induction meeting is for joiners from Europe and North America regions. This meeting happens in the Eastern Time Zone morning time, which would be evening time in the Indian Standard Time Zone. HR members get to be a part of these induction meetings and talk about the company, the processes, and the policies. The exit interview has three purposes, to learn where the company can improve itself, to make sure employees leave feeling good about their service, and, in some cases, to encourage the employee to stay if the reasons for leaving are mitigated. Exit interviews at Zomit happens every Friday. Evening time, Indian Standard Time.
The meetings are conducted by the HR team member, who is looking after the exit process, under the supervision of Isha Mishra and KD. Generally a presentation is prepared, mentioning the contributions of the employee who is leaving, followed by 360-degree feedback about the overall experience. Some of the key people in HR are Isha Mishra, Kumar Dore, Praveen Kumar, Harshitha, Praharsh Dubey, Alga, Sandra. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your HR lead or department head. Check with the senior management. For example, reach out to KD or Praveen Kumar or Praharsh Dubey. Make sure you get assigned to a specific function in HR. You will be working on various functions under human resources. You will look at onboarding process, exit process, sourcing candidates and LinkedIn job posting, scheduling and conducting interviews, rewards and recognition process, managing the HRMS application, generating letters and handling new joiners, grievances and posh. If you work in the HR department, you should be able to request for an administrative access to the HRMS applications. Once you get the access, you can go to www.zumitlabs.com slash hrmshome.html and log in as admin login. If you are unable to log in, talk to your team lead or department head and get the approval. You will be able to view the employee list, departments list, project allocations and more. Welcome to the Python Django department. Here you will learn and work on writing code in Python, learning the Django framework, working on Django projects and all the related activities for creating Django-based applications. The Django team will closely work with the data science team to import the trained models into the applications. Into the, applications. the Django team will also work with the front end web development team to expose the necessary APIs from the back end. Python Django is in high demand these days, so make sure you become an expert for better career opportunities. Here. At Summit, most of our projects use Python for data science programming. Therefore, it is important to learn Python as the first step. If you know Python programming already, you can refresh your knowledge for a couple of days. If you are totally new to Python, I highly recommend you to take a week or two to go through the W3Schools Python programming tutorial. Django is a web application framework. It has back-end development, front-end application development, and a lot more than a programming language. To work with Django and build applications, a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS is very essential. Be sure to revise your web development concepts of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you do not have any idea about HTML, CSS, go through the crash course link given in our Django learning path in HRMS. Next, you need to understand the MVT architecture which is comprised of models, views and templates. There are many tutorials and videos. There are many tutorials and videos on the web that you can refer to pick up the basics of web development. Again, the W3 school's HTML CSS is a great source for learning. To work on your learning path at Summit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the learning path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings that happen every day. The next step is to start getting hands-on with writing Django applications. After a hello world and simple tryouts, write a Django program to connect to a database. Using the connection that was created, Write code to fetch data from the database table and associate it with a model. Then use the view and templates to load the data from the model. Use the view and templates to load the data from the model to display in a front end HTML page. By doing this simple exercise correctly, you will start understanding the essence of Django and the structure of Django applications. If that exercise gives you a boost in your confidence, to build Django applications, you can then try some of the advanced concepts from the learning path. There is a task to create RESTful API services. You can learn how to upload files, work with audio and video files, 
evolving a machine learning model into a Django application. You can see from the diagram that Django uses a model view template architecture. To get stronger in web development concepts, you should attend our popular War Room sessions. All the developers get together in this session. They discuss fundamental concepts of web, Django, AWS, and interact with each other. It is a knowledge sharing session. These sessions help you prepare for your future job interviews and your career planning. When you are doing your internship at Summit, you can reach out to your team leads, department heads, or other knowledgeable people like Hemant, Praharsh, Sridhar, who can give you guidance and knowledge about your career paths. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that are going, projects that are going on and which ones require the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same, that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Summit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics, and predictions. Our Zumit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting edge technologies in HRMS, marketplace, audio analytics, and more. When you work on projects in Zumit, you will need access to the source code of the project. At Zumit, we use GitLab for our storing and managing our code base. GitLab is an open source code repository and collaborative software development platform for large DevOps projects. Go to www.gitlab.com and q.gitlab.com and create an account using your Zimit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the project source code. GitLab has various features like version control and repository management based on Git, issue management, bug tracking and boards. Code review functionality and review apps study and review apps tool. Continuous integration and deployment tool. Integration with IDEs like Visual Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ and Coding. Integration with Jira, Jenkins, Slack, Docker, Kubernetes, LDAP and more. Welcome to the GMC department. Here, you will learn and work on a variety of areas. Some of which include digital marketing. Internal communications within the organization. External communications like client and vendor interactions, graphic designing, UI designs and content creation, social media management and related management and related activities. The global marketing and communications is one of the departments with unlimited creativity. People in global marketing and communications department get to work on a variety of activities. You can choose to work on all of these areas or some of these areas. Video creation and video editing is an extremely interesting area in GMC. C. You can use various tools to create videos. Search engine optimization is another attractive area for digital marketing folks in GMC. You will also work on content creation and graphic designing. UI design for web applications using Figma is another example. There are some very interesting tools, interesting tools like Buffer that allows us to post single content to multiple channels. Learning path designed here allows you to try out all the various aspects of GMC. Follow the activities in the web learning path and complete them. 
Make sure you attend daily stand-up meetings and give your learning updates. Get involved in social media content creation like reels, posters and images. Work with other departments, like data science. Work with other departments, like data science, Python Django, AWS for creating campaigns, and marketing media. When you are a part of the GMC team, try to take ownership of one of the social channels of Zummit. When I say social channels, I mean LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Make it a habit to post content on a daily and weekly basis. This will increase the visibility and growth of the channel. Create internal newsletters on a full. Create internal newsletters on a fortnightly basis. Use tools like Buffer to push content to multiple channels in one shot. And this can be quite powerful. When you are here at Summit GMC, make sure you create at least one dazzling video and you can be proud of it. Talk to our technology team for a machine learning use case for making a video. Come up with a storyline or script for the video. Collect Creative Commons media by doing a search on the internet relevant images and videos. Use a tool like Adobe Premiere and build the timeline as per your script. Apply color grading, transitions with music to come up with a dazzling video. Let's Talk Tech is a video interview series of Zomit Infolabs. In each video, a teenager interviews an industry expert who could be a CEO or a CIO, a vice president of a company. The interviewer, who is the teenager, asks the CXO about their specialized area. Both side videos are recorded on Zoom for further videos are recorded on Zoom for further editing. There will be many career suggestions that will be useful for students and job seekers. The GMC members work on adding intros, music, transitions, and animations to make it a great video. Be sure to interact with your team members, team leads, and senior management team. Some of the key people in GMC group are Naaman Batra, Jonathan Anudame, Sonic Anayar, Isha Mishra. You can also get in touch with KD and Praveen for direction and guidance. And Praveen for direction and guidance. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that are going projects that are going on and which ones requires the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. Zummit Inflabs has many terabytes of space on our OneDrive account. Whether you are in HR department or in the GMC department, pre-sales, or even tech departments, sometimes you will need to store and access files of huge sizes. It could be footages which are in gigabytes, it could be hundreds of resumes or customer presentations and inputs of resumes or customer presentations and input data for training your models. Make sure you get access to OneDrive folders that is relevant to your department. Talk to your department head or senior management for access to the required OneDrive folders. Welcome to the Web Development Department. Here, you will learn and work on front-end technologies, building and calling application programming interfaces, back-end technologies, databases and related activities. Let's start learning Web Development Technologies. Basics of HTML, CSS, is essential for building any web application. Please go ahead and refresh your knowledge of HTML, CSS, for a couple of days. If you are totally new to HTML and CSS, I highly recommend you to take a week or two and learn using W3Schools. You can use the link shown below to access the website. We have designed a learning path for you for web development. This path contains links to various videos or blog articles that will be helpful to complete your learning path. To access this learning path, you can first log into the HRMS portal and click on the button that says My Learning Path. Follow all the activities in the web learning path and complete them one by one. 
Focus on learning React JS. Focus on the front end development aspects. You should also brush up your concepts on JavaScript to get strong in web development. For writing business logic, we need to write code in Node.js along with React JS and then both of these are in high demand. To become a good web developer, it is a great idea to learn the full stack development. This is also termed as MERN. M stands for Mongo, or MySQL database. E stands for ExpressJS framework. R stands for ReactJS, which is used for front-end user interface. N stands for Node.js, to build REST services and business logic. You will learn features like uploading files, audio, video, database access, and more. You will also learn simple and advanced controls like grids, lists, search bars for building web applications. Learn the basics of technology, for example, three-tier architecture. A presentation layer sends content to browsers in the form of HTML CSS. This uses frameworks like React, Angular, etc. A business layer that you This might be written in C Sharp, Java, Python, etc. A data layer which is a database management system. This could be SQL, Oracle, or Mongo. As a simple example, suppose you are looking to find movie times in your area. First, the presentation layer displays a web page or displays a web page to enter data, like the date you want to view the movie and your zip code. This is passed to the business layer, which formats a query and passes it to the data layer. This runs the query and returns the results. The page is then sent back to the browser, where the presentation layer displays it on a laptop or other plays it on a laptop or other device. To get stronger in web development concepts, you should attend our popular War Room sessions. All the developers get together in this session. They discuss fundamental concepts of web, Django, AWS, and interact with each other. It is a knowledge sharing session. These sessions help you prepare for your future job interviews and your career planning. If you face any issues or need career guidance and advice, please reach out to the key people in web development. Nachiket Kulkani, Brain Philemon, Praveen Kumar, Prahash Dubey, Srihari. And you can always reach out to the senior management members. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that are going projects that are going on and which ones require the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Summit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics and predictions. Our Zumit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting edge technologies in HRMS, marketplace, audio analytics, and more. When you work on projects in Zumit, you will need access to the source code of the project. 
At Zummit, we use GitLab for our storing and managing our code base. GitLab is an open source code repository and collaborative software development platform for larger DevOps projects. Go to www.gitlab.com and q.gitlab.com and create an account using your Zummit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the project source code. GitLab has various features like version control and repository management based on Git, issue management, bug tracking and boards, code review functionality and review apps, study and review apps tool, continuous integration and deployment tool, integration with IDEs like Visual Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ and coding, integration with Jira, Jenkins, Slack, Docker, Kubernetes, LDAP and more. Welcome to the AWS department. Here, you will learn and work on common AWS services, roles in access management, deployments of applications and websites over the cloud, advanced AWS services and functions, and related activities. Firstly, you need to get familiar with various services in AWS. Learn about the IAM roles and permissions. You will have to create your own AWS account and build the infrastructure, understand security of AWS environment, and services. Also, you can try out new services related to machine learning, data engineering, and there is so much more. To work on your learning path at Zummit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the Learning Path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand up meetings that happen every day. Once you are comfortable with the basics of AWS, you should start completing all the tasks in the learning path. You will learn S3, also known as Simple Storage Service, Glacier, and using EC2 instances. Brush up on IAM, which is for identity access management. Learn about streaming data through a services of AWS called Kinesis. Understand Lambda Functions, which is a serverless architecture, and SageMaker, which is related to machine learning, all this while working on project activities. To start practicing AWS, go to Amazon AWS website and register for a free tier access. Amazon provides 12 months of free access to their cloud services, which contains 750 hours of compute every month. It also includes 5 gigabytes of S3 bucket storage, along with database access, Lambda functions, along with database access, Lambda functions, SNS, Redshift, SageMaker, and a lot many more services. If you are planning to learn and work on AWS, be sure to take advantage of the free tier given by AWS, which is not available in other providers. You can create instances of Windows and Linux machines on the cloud. Windows and Linux machines on the cloud. You can create a 72 CPU robust machine for running some deep learning programs and more. You may need to provide a debit or credit card to register, but Amazon does not charge any money to use these services for the first year within the limits. To get stronger in web development concepts, you should attend our popular War Room sessions. All the developers get together in this session. They discuss fundamental concepts of web, Django, AWS, and interact with each other. It is a knowledge sharing session. These sessions help you prepare for your future job interviews and your career planning. If you face any issues or need guidance and advice, please reach out to the key people in AWS Varun Walviker, Jonathan Anudami, Nachikit Gulkarni. Hemarajd Akal, Praveen Kumar, Srinidhi, Praharsh Dubey, and of course, you can always reach out to the senior management members. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that, are going, projects that are going on and which ones requires the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same, that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, 
as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zamit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics and predictions. Our Zamit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting-edge technologies in HRMS, Marketplace, Audio Analytics, and more. When you work on projects in Zumit, you will need access to the source code of the project. At Zumit, we use GitLab for our storing and managing our code base. GitLab is an open source code repository and collaborative software development platform for large DevOps projects. Go to www.gitlab.com and q.gitlab.com and create an account using your Zumit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the project source code. GitLab has various features like version control and repository management based on Git, issue management, bug tracking and boards, code review functionality and review apps and review apps tool, continuous integration and deployment tool, integration with IDEs like Visual Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ and coding, integration with Jira, Jenkins, Slack, Docker, Kubernetes, LDAP and more. Welcome to the Android department. Here. You will learn and work on creating Android applications. Work on the building blocks of Android applications. Consuming data from web services, restful services, working with data and related activities. Let's start getting familiar with activities, fragments, and intents. Learn about simple controls like text views, buttons, etc. Also, learn some advanced controls like recycler views, card views, floating buttons, etc. Brush up the required concepts in Java and Kotlin. Get familiar with third-party integrations like Google Maps and Facebook API. Learn about push notifications and broadcast receivers. To work on your learning path at Zumit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the Learning Path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings that happen every day. When you are comfortable with some of the concepts, you can move ahead by completing all the tasks in the learning path. You will learn about the three-tier architecture. You will create databases and API services. You will learn frameworks like Volley and Retrofit for API access from Android. You will work with video streams, gallery, camera, and various phone features. Learn the basics of technology, for example, Three-tier architecture. A presentation layer sends content to browsers in the form of HTML CSS. This uses frameworks like React, Angular, etc. A business layer that you pick. This might be written in C Sharp, Java, Python, etc. A data layer which is a database management system. This could be SQL, Oracle, or Mongo. As a simple example, suppose you are looking to find movie times in your area. First, the presentation layer displays a web page or displays a web page to enter data, like the date you want to view the movie, and your zip code. This is passed to the business layer, which formats a query and passes it to the data layer. This runs the query and returns the results. The page is then sent back to the browser, 
where the presentation layer displays it on a laptop or other plays it on a laptop or other device. To get stronger in the subject, all developers get together in the virtual war room and discuss different topics. In these sessions, we discuss all the concepts, right from the fundamentals to the advanced topics. They are knowledge sharing sessions and will help you in your career and prepare for future job interviews. If you face any issues or need any guidance or advice, you can always reach out to the key people in Android, Nachiket, Sriniti, Anusha, Kumar, Sandeep K, Sridhari and you can always reach out to the senior management members. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that are going, projects that are going on and which ones require the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same, that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zamit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics and predictions. Our Zamit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving which is self-driving cars and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting edge technologies in HRMS, marketplace, audio analytics and more. When you work on projects in Zumit, you will need access to the source code of the project. At Zumit, we use GitLab for our storing and managing our code base. GitLab is an open source code repository and collaborative software development platform for larger DevOps projects. Go to www.gitlab.com and q.gitlab.com and create an account using your Zamit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the project source code. GitLab has various features like version control and repository management based on Git, issue management, bug tracking and boards. Code review functionality and review apps study and review apps tool. Continuous integration and deployment tool. Integration with IDEs like Visual Studio, Eclipse, IntelliJ and coding. Integration with Jira, Jenkins, Slack, Docker, Kubernetes, LDAP and more. Welcome to the pre-sales department. Here, you will learn and work on project proposals, client meetings, technical solutions, capability presentations, to work on your learning path at Zumit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the Learning Path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings. The team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings that happen every day. Once you log into the HRMS and click on the Learning Path button, you will be redirected the Learning Path page. The pre-sales Learning Path page looks something like this. The Learning Path items will either have a video or a blog article link explaining the activity. Please follow through the various activities in the Learning Path. Ask your team lead or department head if you need any information or help on these activities. When you follow the learning path, you will be learning many aspects of pre-sales. Lead generation activity. Company research. Work on interesting case studies. Work on various aspects of a proposal. 
A proposal review meeting involves reviewing various parts of the proposal. The business context and problem statement needs to be well defined as per the client needs. Solution approaches, team structure, and timelines needs to be detailed out to gain confidence from the client. It also covers pricing info, which should be within the budgetary needs of the client prospect. Assumptions and dependencies should take care of activities that will be done out of scope items, hardware and software dependencies, and other items as required by each project. The feedback from the review meeting will be incorporated into the proposal and multiple iterations of reviews will be done as required. The key people in pre-sales are Ruth Matehimaya, Matthew Partridge, Ankitpur, Praveen Kumar, Kumar Dore. If you have any questions or need guidance in pre-sales, please reach out to your team lead or the management members as above. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your Scrum Master or Department Head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a various projects that are going on and which ones require the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current on the needs of the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zamit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics and predictions. Our Zamet AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting-edge technologies in HRMS, Marketplace, Audio Analytics, and more. Zumit has a lot of pre-sales related collaterals stored on OneDrive folders. Make sure you have access to the relevant folders. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the OneDrive files. Welcome to the Scrum department. Here, you will learn and work on project management, agile methodologies, understanding terms like Scrum, backlogs, and sprints, regulating communication between client and team members, Scrum is a framework for developing and delivering products and projects. Scrum helps teams work together. There are many keywords and concepts around Scrum, like backlogs, sprints, stand-up meetings, and product increments. A product backlog lists and prioritizes the task-level details required to execute the strategic plan set forth in the roadmap. The backlog should communicate what's next on the development team's to-do list as they execute on the roadmap's vision. A sprint backlog is a subset of the product backlog and lists the, the product backlog and lists the work items to complete in one specific sprint. A sprint is a short, time-boxed period when a scrum team works to complete a set amount of work. Sprints are at the very heart of scrum and agile methodologies and getting sprints right will help the team ship better software team ship better software with fewer headaches. To work on your learning path at Zumit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the Learning Path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings that happen every day. 
follow the activities in the Scrum learning path and complete them. You will learn the basics of Scrum, Agile methodologies, and Sprint analytics. Key people in Scrum, Venela Kendi Potty, Alison, Pratharsh Dubey, Nidhi. After you complete your learning path, reach out to your Scrum master or department head. Let them know that you have completed your learning path. In parallel, you can also check with HR or senior management team members like KD or Praveen. The key goal after learning path is to get assigned to a project. Check with them about various projects that are going, projects that are going on and which ones require the skills that you have picked. In case you are interested in specific domains, make a request for the same that you would like to try out a project related to manufacturing domain, healthcare, finance, etc. Although this may not be guaranteed, as it will depend on the needs of the project and the current stage of the, the project and the current stage of the project. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zamit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics, and predictions. Our Zamet AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving, which is self-driving cars, and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents, and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting-edge technologies in HRMS, Marketplace, Audio Analytics, and more. Trello is an easy-to-use collaboration tool that enables you to organize projects and everything related to them into boards. Trello tells you what's being worked on, who's working on what, and where something is in a process. Imagine a whiteboard filled with lists of sticky notes, with each note as a task for you and your team. Go to www.trello.com and create an account using your Zamit Labs email ID. Talk to your team lead or department head and get access to the Trello boards. Welcome to the Business Analysis Department. Here, you will learn and work on understanding requirements from clients, translating the requirements to the team, and creating necessary documentation. Some of the responsibilities of a business analyst are conducting meetings and presentations to share ideas and findings, performing requirements analysis, documenting and communicating the results of your efforts, Effectively communicating your insights and plans to cross-functional team members and management. Gathering crit members and management. Gathering critical information from meetings with various stakeholders and producing useful reports. Working closely with clients, technicians, and managerial staff. Ensuring solutions meet business needs and requirements. Performing user acceptance testing. Prioritizing initiatives based on, initiatives based on business needs and requirements. Serving as a liaison between stakeholders and users. Managing competing resources and priorities. Monitoring deliverables and ensuring timely completion of projects. To work on your learning path at Summit, all you have to do is log into HRMS, then click on the Learning Path button. You will see the list of all the tasks in your learning path. You can then click on the video link or the article link to learn about that topic. Give your learning path updates to your updates to your team lead or scrum master in the daily stand-up meetings that happen every day. When you start working on the learning path at Zumit, you will learn how to create diagrams and documents. Learn functional and non-functional requirements. Learn about product backlogs. Attend client calls to understand their needs and requirements. Act as a bridge between technical team and business team or customer. The first task to do, when there is a new requirement, identify the actors. Identify the scenarios. Map their relationships. 
This helps build a use case diagram. It is essential and important to learn about Zumit's products, whether you are in business analysis, or pre-sales, or in any of the technology-related departments. This will enable you to know the requirements and features of our products and solutions. Knowing our products will help you in conversation with, with customers and prospects. Get to know about our live face detection projects, get to know about our background remover product, and also learn about our e-commerce application along with the technologies used. When creating case studies, it's always a good idea to ask, how short can we make it? A good case study avoids the unnecessary minutiae, knows what it's trying to say, and communicates it quickly and without ambiguity. With a few exceptions, effective case studies are concise and concise and clear. Here are a few steps to build a good case study. Introduce the customer. State the problem. Introduce your product. Show results. Prove how you got the results. A good analyst needs to be sharp. With just a single line or a paragraph of the requirement from a client, the analyst should be able to construct a good mind map that comprises of various features of the project. This requires doing the research about the domain, comparing various products in the market that are similar to the requirement or at least close to what the client needs. Take a look at the mind map in the diagram for an e-commerce requirement. To create a good mind map, Begin with the main concept. Add branches to the main concept. Explore topics by adding more branches. Finally, make as present as presentable by adding images and colors. Learn the basics of technology, for example, three-tier architecture. A presentation layer sends content to browsers in the form of HTML CSS. This uses frameworks like React, Angular, etc. A business layer that you This might be written in C Sharp, Java, Python, etc. A data layer which is a database management system. This could be SQL, Oracle, or Mongo. As a simple example, suppose you are looking to find movie times in your area. First, the presentation layer displays a web page or displays a web page to enter data, like the date you want to view the movie, and your zip code. This is passed to the business layer, which formats a query and passes it to the data layer. This runs the query and returns the results. The page is then sent back to the browser, where the presentation layer displays it on a laptop or other plays it on a laptop or other device. To help you understand better on the projects that we work on in Zumit, here is a list of some of our key projects that we work with our clients who may be based out of North America, Europe, or even in India. We have been working on healthcare domain projects like cancer and tumor detection from MRI images, financial domain projects like stock market prediction, loan defaulters, forex analytics, and predictions. Our Zumit AI framework is one of the biggest projects that has hundreds of use cases covering various domains. Some of our projects are related to automotive and logistics like autonomous driving which is self-driving cars and transport use cases. We work on noble causes like anti-terrorism, racism detection, traffic safety, detecting drowsiness in drivers that can avoid accidents and also our German client project that helps blind people with wearable AI glasses. There are so many more interesting projects and use cases that we use cutting-edge technologies in HRMS, Marketplace, Audio Analytics, and more. Key people in BA Department Matthew Partridge Ruth Batahaya Sujay Kaushik Kumar Dore Kalpateru Dash Zumut Inflabs has many terabytes of space on our OneDrive account. Whether you are in HR department or in the GMC department, pre-sales, or even tech departments, sometimes, you will need to store and access files of huge sizes. It could be footages which are in gigabytes, it could be hundreds of resumes or customer presentations and inputs of resumes or customer presentations and input data for training your models. Make sure you get access to OneDrive folders that is relevant to your department. Talk to your department head or senior management for access to the required OneDrive folders.